Sean, everybody wants to do fall activities. There's apple picking, there's pumpkin picking, but with these warm temperatures, we might need to get the swimming pools back out. Uh, I know we're going to be close, but that's going to change eventually. We do have a cold front that's going to come through and that's going to knock our temperature back down at least a little closer to what we should be feeling this time of year. That's going to happen in a couple of days. But today we are in record territory in a big way. Our forecast for this afternoon, 82. Our current record is 77, and that's actually our temperature right now. That was set back in 1973. Check out these highs, uh, 82 Glencoe, 81 in Waseca, 82 Fairmont and Blue Earth will get to about 82 in Redwood Falls, 82 in Esterville, Iowa. And that's not the end of the records. Tomorrow morning, our forecast is 59. That is going to be a record warm low temperature for the day. And uh, our previous record, 54, set back in 1994. So. A uh, couple of good records coming, and you can see our forecast for tomorrow morning, generally mid to upper 50s, but we do have a cold front that's coming through, and that is going to bring some pretty big changes. The radar is clear. We are very dry. The air is dry, and that's going to be a thing here as we make our way into the next couple of days. So even though we do have a front that's coming through, it's going to be a dry frontal passage, although a sprinkle or two not out of the question. We're not going to get the big rain that we need to uh, pull ourselves out of this dry situation that we have going on. So here's the low. We actually have a little disturbance sitting in South Dakota. That's sending some clouds our way this afternoon. But this front is going to plow through tomorrow, late afternoon into tomorrow night, bringing our slowly bringing our temperatures down. You can see today 82 will get to around 76 tomorrow. But then <laughs> look at look at Wednesday. You want it fall. Boom. We got it right there. In fact, that is the only day where our average or our temperature will be a little below the average for this time of year. After that, we do rebound and we will stay comfortable through the rest of the week into the weekend with highs in the 60s. So we do have some nice weather on the way. Not much rain, though. You can see here on the hour by hour forecast, clouds will increase a little bit with that disturbance out on the Dakotas and a few little blips of green kind of plopping through here at times. Here we are at noon tomorrow. Some showers and thunder showers. There's a little more energy, a little more lift up in northern Minnesota. Could be a little rain, even a thunderstorm or two. That could skirt uh, maybe the Hutchinson area. Probably not going to get much out of that. Everything will move out, and then we will clear out into the rest of the week. 77, that is our record. At this point, we've tied our record high for the day around the region, 70s to low 80s, and we will continue to climb as we head through the afternoon. 82 record high today, partly cloudy, not much wind tonight. 59, mostly cloudy with record warm overnight lows. 76, a few sprinkles Tuesday, 56 sunny on Wednesday, and then more sunny dry weather. A couple of shots at a sprinkle or two here and there as we take you through the week, but we're not going to get much, and uh, temperatures will be comfortable. Great fall weather coming up for it later in the week. We're going to take a break. We will be back right after this. The 10 day forecast is brought to you by. The Cena Sighting Windows, your friends in the business. 